so I hopefully can enter the recovery mod again. Oh, maybe I should uh, clean my screen before the next video I take. So hopefully, yes, that's it. I'm in the Filz Touch recovery, so hit install zip, choose zip from SD card 1, download, I got the folder ROM and there I will have the um, existence ultimate 1.5.5 zip, so I flash this above the clean installation we made before. So next custom installation, dark theme, full screen, hit next, volume boost, hit next, self portray, AR effect line, small launcher, I don't need the small launcher. Installation. Sim linking, everything's okay. So finish and let's see what happened now. So you see in the background it's me again. So maybe I should dim uh, the light, but it's um, very sunny and clear today. So excuse the reflection. So in the meanwhile you can see my um, my camera is a Panasonic Lumix. It's a great one. I bought it a few weeks ago and um, it's really amazing. So the existent ultimate boot animation. Till now everything uh, themes great so far. So let's have a look what happened next. So it may take uh, a few minutes, um, I let it go because I want to give you a feeling how long could this take. Um, because after my first attempt to flash my Xperia Ray um, a few years ago, I sit in front of my screen and um, nothing happened, it stays black. And then after a few minutes the boot animation comes up and um, I think maybe around about five, six minutes I sit in front of it and stare on the display and nothing happens and I thought, man, damn it, I break this phone and um, I was really angry and thought, why have I done this and something like this. and. After these few minutes, the start screen splashed up and it was a great, great pleasure uh, to have this feeling that the phone is running and the new software uh, works on it and um, yes, it was really great and so um, since then I flash every phone I get to my fingers, to my hands, sorry and uh, the same with the existence ultimate uh, with the <laughs> sorry with the sony xperia z it's a great uh, cell phone so yeah let's see what what sony will bring up next for me there's no reason to buy a z1 or z2 because um, also on my phone the latest android software worked and um, yes, maybe we wait for the next flagship from Sony and uh, see what happens. So, super user performance control, yes. So you see, I would take English, so you can follow my steps. I am aware of the important informations. Thanks for that. Yes, I want to download my internet settings. No. Later. Okay. Here we go. So, finish. 
Disclaimer, not a disclaimer. Okay, 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 okay. That's it. Seems good to me. Have a look at this. Works like a charm. So let's see what happens here. Looks good. No lag at all. Everything great so far. So the menu. You see here the Sony settings. It's on every cell phone from Sony. It's uh, the same, I think. So you have about the phone and see legal info. Android version 4.4.2. Nice. So yes, that's it. Um, Let's have a short look on the app draw. So far, seems great. Maybe the last thing I want to show you is the Exposed Installer. Um, so we have to set up the Exposed Installer, so you have to install it. And um, first I go to the... Uh -huh. I don't choose the Gravity Box, I'm not sure. Wait a minute, shortcuts, existence, Xperia Pro, yes. So, only thing I installed is, is Xperia Exposed, but anyway, we can start with that. Be careful, you can um, harm your phone and um, should know about brick and boot loops. So, I first go to download, get me the gravity box. Oh, yes, gravity box for KitKat, so download latest version with heads up, great thing, um, Paranoid Android's Peak, I bought it on the Play Store um, and it works also great with uh, stock ROM, so you have heads up, uh, you have Peak, um, you can activate your Pi Control or Circle Launcher or App Bar through the Exposed Installer. So um, you can. Oh yes, great! You see, my data connection is not as good as it should be in the flat because um, it's really. Um, yeah, <laughs> we have big walls, let me say it uh, like this. So I stop it, it's not important. So um, I have to install the framework. So sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, install update, look like this. You have to grant super user requests. And look at this, you have to reboot your phone. Done, changes will become active on reboot. So I uh, will reboot the phone. Uh, reboot the phone is the last thing I want to show you. Um, everything else you can uh, set up at the exposed installer by yourself. Um, the only tip I want to give you is if you choose the gravity box, you you uh, you have to download the gravity box, install it, and after that go to the exposed installer. Go to modules, check the gravity box. It won't work uh, if you want to use it first. Check it and then install the framework again. Update the framework. So restart the phone and after that you are able to use the gravity box. Um, I usually use gravity box uh, and XBlast tools that are the to most common, most common used exposed moves by me. So, not by me, for me, <laughs> sorry. So everything works great so far, you see, everything smooth till now and um, that's it. I hope I could help you, I give you, uh, I hope I can, could give you a little insight in, in insight in this ROM and um, maybe the next video will be I show up how I set up my phone with the latest XP.
Imperia Ultimate. So thanks to Nierbock for this outstanding ROM. And thanks for listening. Enjoy the day and till the next time.